Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Battersea Power Station, London. Coming up today on Travel Blog Jamie, well, we are going to take the ride of our lives up a chimney of all places on lift 109. We're also going to explore the interior of this wonderful newly renovated power station and also the surrounding area. Battersea Power Station is easily accessed via the Northern Line. This is located in Zone 1 of the London Underground. It also has its own river boat stop. Before we take a look around inside and travel up that chimney, let's have a look at the history of this power station. Did you know that from the 1930s to 1980s, Battersea Power Station was a working power station? Indeed, at its peak, it was producing a fifth of London's power, supplying electricity to some of London's most recognisable landmarks, such as the Houses of Parliament and also Buckingham Palace. The power station ceased to generate electricity and closed back in 1983. In 2007, it was upgraded to Grade 2 listed status. In fact, less than 6% of listed buildings fall into this category. It's a building of importance and special interest. In 2012, after decades of disuse, the power station was purchased by its current shareholders. Work began in 2013 to redevelop this 42-acre site surrounding the power station and create a new community of homes, shops, restaurants, cafes, cultural venues, and an open space for London. Surrounding the power station, you'll find Electric Boulevard and the Arches. As well as a the theatre, this is where you'll find a wide variety of cafes, bars, and restaurants. Fantasy Power Station and its surrounding area benefits from having a fantastic location right on the River Thames. It's easy to see how this area becomes a hub of activity later on in the day, but also a place you could actually kick back and relax. And now let's head inside to the power station and see what the interior has to offer. And of course, we are going to take our trip up lift 109. Work still continues inside and new bars, restaurants and shops are opening all the time. By the way, if you've never eaten at where the pancakes are, can I highly recommend this place? Keep an eye out for the original features of this power station. There's plenty to see. Alrighty, we are off to lift 109. So called because it is a lift and it takes you to 109 meters. I believe that's 357 feet. But before I do my Dick Van Dyke, don't at me with who's that. Uh, let's have a look at the kind of tickets on offer and what you can expect to pay. Now, this is a very popular attraction, so you're going to want to reserve your tickets online. You have the option of buying tickets during peak time, standard time, or off-peak time. The refurbishment of one of the iconic chimneys at Battersea Power Station now houses this fantastic glass elevator. This attraction is located in the Power Station's magnificent Art Deco Turbine Hall A. The circular glass elevator makes its ascent up the northwest chimney. Right, I have checked in. I'm going to do a little bit of exploration now, find out a few facts and figures, because I love a few facts and figures now, don't I? The Lift 109 journey begins with an ensemble of original records and media displays. 
there's a wealth of information about the building's rich history and you're able to discover how it has been reinvented and transformed over the years. Oh my goodness, I actually used to live oh, in New Cross, yeah. Sirens going exactly what it was like when I lived there. Prior to boarding, you can also enjoy a number of interactive experiences in the display area. When your boarding group is called, you'll have an opportunity for a photo with your companions. You'll then enter the very cool pre-boarding showroom. Right, we're on level 12. Oh, that looks very cool. Take me up that chimney. And up we go. That looks so cool. And we made it. This is awesome folks and what a beautiful day in London. And back down we go. That's awesome. You get about five minutes actually at the top of the chimney to get all your pics, have a look at all the views and sights. It's awesome. All right, and on your way out, you can grab uh, your photo and there you have the Lyft 109 experience. Have to say, it felt very safe actually. Uh, not that I've ever been up a chimney before, I've got to be honest with you, um, but obviously a very modern design. No jerky movements on the way up. Smooth as butter. Highly recommend that actually. I imagine it's awesome at sunset if you time that correctly. I have to do that one time. So you actually board the lift already pretty much halfway up the chimney tower. So the actual ascent is this part here only. If you told me I would have been super excited about visiting a power station, I would have laughed in your face. Truth be known, this whole area of Battersea has been completely transformed and I think it's stunning. In fact, the next job on my to-do list is to book a room in the Art Hotel and explore the area further. There are so many eateries and bars now open in the Battersea Power Station area and of course plenty opening in the near future. 
here's a look at what you can enjoy on site. Yep, there's even an underground crazy golf experience and bar. Table tennis and beer coming soon. And in due course, I'm looking forward to finding out more about the BXR and virtual reality experiences. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. <laughs>